so guys you kind of gave me 400 likes in a day so now i have to keep my word and leak the build so now you guys are gonna get me nerfed in order to keep me not depressed you will have to like this video or sheep will cry at night but yeah guys jokes aside thank you and let's get into it so guys to start with the full showcase and everything you will actually need to know about the build we're gonna start with equipment so we got the three star damage lights final toll now you can go pen because this is a million ton slot guys but i'm just too lazy to go pen and you can just do it anyway cure steer star don't matter because it was confirmed to not work now this is a big part you're gonna want nevayan warchief because piercing will mix with nevayan warchief guarantees to go over pen cap and you're gonna want to use the neve style only to progress your crit because that is the only way you can progress your crit through parry and dodge you can also progress it through block but yeah we got the default iron singer i had before the blindfold and the earrings because i'm blind seer and now we got a new helmet a saucy new little helmet here and before when i was first queuing chime i was wearing like a 13 hp 4 fizz one so we got a nice little upgrade from the bank trading thing then we got the 30 hp 10 ether viscosity star boost to help with storm tick and dying then we got ring of pestilence because this build has no anti-heal and then we just have damage multi rings of course we have akiras and donfist because we have million ton and we have lights final toll bro just look how many legendaries you can get that's three four and then we got five on the bottom right here and you can actually get six legendaries with this build type if you go a different variant but yeah i'm gonna go through this and try to see the main ones you got reinforced armor the charisma ones of course cdr isn't really needed but i like using it for overworld I do not want to have the disadvantage in overworld just because someone wants to cheese me. And then we got million ton, of course. I think you can easily reach like 70 plus pen on this build. And yeah, we just have the basic other talents. We got shield breaker because we're LFT and now they just rework shield. So I don't know if it works, but hey man, we keep it and we need it anyway, so it's good. Also, you're really gonna want to use underdog and all the willpower stuff. You're gonna want to min-max everything. Honestly, guys, there's not much to this build, but just no attunement cards and then the willpower cards added onto it. Now, underdog is actually kind of important for my build type in specific, and I'm gonna get into that in a second, but we're gonna go over the mantras right now. Now, a lot of people in Chime have been complaining that I have infinite tempo, quote unquote, but I have blue gem on like 90% of my mantras, as you can see here. I blood this slightest and strong left because it just costs nothing to cast. Shoulder bash is only 20% ether, but if you're doing stuff like faints, like I just did there, it's gonna equal up to 40, so yeah. Also, gaze, if you cast that a lot, it's gonna take a lot of ether, so I just went ahead and put the most lasting stuff on it without going vibrant gems, because I honestly got tired of just having no ether at endgame. Our gaze is the only thing that has modifiers on it, and our slightest and our left are the only things that have bloodless on them. Take a look at my summary, guys. It's honestly not that good compared to what you're used to seeing. We got not min-max posture. We don't have, I mean, we kind of have min-max HP, but not for the standard build that you're used to seeing. We even almost got close to 40 physical on this build and the default elemental that you're used to seeing. And that's honestly because I went six proficiency on this build and wanted to stack underdog with it. So I opted to having lower HP to just have more overall damage because not every single thing I do is actually to storm cheese. So I just chose damage, which requires you to hit people if you didn't know. Now this is the final product. When I first made this build and was queuing live and queuing most of the pros, I actually had 500 HP and I was queuing with bounce on. So you can only imagine how overpowered this build is now. Because now instead of Allure and Bounce, I have Viscosity and Entanglement, I'm pretty sure. Now some of you people are going to be like, Sheep, didn't you just say you weren't going to do stuff to Storm Change? Now listen, before the vein starts popping out of your head, I want you to take a millisecond to think about what the enemy is going to be wearing that I am fighting. Now that we have a thought about what the enemy is going to be wearing, why would I disadvantage myself by not going the same thing and just taking more for no reason? It just does not make sense to do as a competitive player. I've literally lost entire matches even though I hit them more just from this thing. Now I'm going to show you guys how this build works. If you want to know the stats, it's going to be in my Discord in the comments. As you can see in this clip, I don't have entanglement. I have my mid helmet on and I have bounce on, so yeah. 
This is proof that when I was number one, I was not using the best stuff. If you wanted to see me fight pros, I made a live like yesterday. You can check my lives. I fought like every top 50 pro in NA. But to start this fight off, I turned my buffs on and I insta pop tranquil to force a parry trade so I can progress my crit right here. Then I hit a little shoulder bash to the side because it literally has no like timing to it. And I go for the delay crit. Most people get hit by that. They're used to fighting this. They don't get hit by much. I somehow parry his vent. And I notice I take a little bit of damage here. So I hit the back up. And I notice that he has fist with herb hat. Which is like a direct advantage in parry trades to mine. So I'm kind of backing up here. Him with a random hit now i see that i'm on my counter crit which is my purple he just eats the whole entire thing now a good thing about this build is that most people don't know how to counter it and that's probably why i'm so high i end up actually landing a crit and getting my red one on and now i'm on my counter again in tranquil so there's not really much he can do i'm like zoning him out with tranquil while i'm getting my stuff back you can see his hits barely did damage to me now you don't want to get too cocky here because one little combo could be the end of you and chime at least top chime I'm really trying to get my spits in for some regen here. But I end up just going for the aggressive play. And after all, I'm not that low. So that's probably what I was thinking. I try to get some crit progression off. But then I just go for the left. We pop Tranquil again and try to get our heretic stacks up. The longer I'm in a fight, I can get my heretic stacks up, which is good for me. We got our buffs on. As you can see, I am indeed no tempo, no ether. So I don't know where we're getting this infinite stuff from, but... Now I'm kind of cocky because I hit him a lot here. Hit him with the dumb range crit. And I only use slightest when I think they're high posture. Sometimes I just cast it because it's just free posture damage. I noticed that the storm is closing in and I'm on my counter crit. Crits are something you're really going to want to pay attention to. Now, since he's close to the storm, I try to throw him in, but he just stands there. But, as you can see, in one hit, I am 5 bars, and he is knocked. Now, this is how most fights go. People will say that I throw them in the storm, which is true. I do do that to get the upper edge. But, as you can see in the clips, I just control the fight. Most of the fight, I'm not going to lie. But, anyways, thank you guys for watching, and peace.